arise to lead the debate on a bill for an act to repeal the Investment and Security Act 2007 and enact the Investment and Security Bill 2024 and to establish the Security and Exchange Commission as the apex regulatory authority for the Nigerian capital market as well as regulations of the market to ensure capital formation, the protection of investors, maintain fair, efficient, transparent market, and reduction of systematic risk and for related matters. I so move, Mr. President. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, I respectfully rise to lead the debate on the general principle of the investment and securities bill 2024. The bill seeks to repeal the Investment and Security Act 2007 and enact the Investment and Security Act 2024 and to establish the Securities and Exchange Commission as the APES regulatory authority for Nigerian capital market as well as regulation of the market to ensure capital formation and protection of investors, maintenance of fair, efficient and transparent market and reduction of systemic risk. The bill was read for the first time on Wednesday 4th, October 2023. The main objective of the bill, among others, is to enact a legislation that align with global dynamics as they relate to the regulation of capital market through provisions of innovative regulatory framework that seeks to one protect the integrity of the security market against all forms of market abuse and insider dealings two prevent unauthorized illegal unlawful fraudulent and unfair trade practices relating to securities and investment. C. Ensure the development of capital market and facilitate capital formation for economic development. D. Contribute to the reduction of systemic risk and promote financial stability. E. Protect public interest and maintenance of fair efficient and transparent market and finally register and regulate securities depository companies clearing and settlement companies custodians of assets and securities credit rating agencies and such other agencies and intermediaries etc the bill is well structured and each part dealing with specific issues relating to registration com regulation of exchanges and financial markets, infrastructure, management of systemic risk, regulation of new businesses, mergers, takeovers and corporate restructuring, stiffer sanctions, collective investment schemes, commodity ecosystems, investors protection funds, commodity exchange and, and warehouse receipt, and alternative trading systems, etc. This is with a view to consolidating on the efficiency and viability of the sector. Mr. President, my distinguished colleagues, the overriding purpose of this proposed legislation is to strengthen the capacity of the Commission for the effective performance of its statutory mandate, as well as reposition this vital sector of our economy for national economic transformation. In conclusion, Mr. President, it is opposite to reiterate that the passage of this bill will form part of the new renewed hope agenda of the current administration, geared towards economic diversification initiatives aimed at exploiting all available opportunities for national development. On this note, I humbly request my distinguished colleagues 
to support the expeditious passage of this bill. Thank you for your kind attention.